from the physical rigours of professional football to London's Tate Gallery is a chasm that few could bridge. But one of Saturday's FA Cup finalists frequently views the exhibits here and appreciates art like that submarine in tyres and other temporary works of sculptor David Mack. After selecting three pictures for an exhibition, this footballer wrote about their inner strength and the artist's attacking brushstrokes. And to complete a kaleidoscope of interests, he's both written reviews and been reviewed in the new Musical Express. Pat Nevin is a rare breed of footballing intellectual, whose attitude to his own forthcoming wedding and the Wembley Cup final is exaggeratedly undemonstrative. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, you know, you play football and you hope one day to get to that sort of level in those sort of games. So, um, really looking forward to an enjoyable game and an entertaining game, hopefully, too. It's caused an inconvenience in your life, hasn't it? Though? Yeah, yeah. I'd originally, I arranged my uh, stag night for that evening. Or one of my stag nights for that evening. <laughs> but I'll have to go by the way, Sandy. In fact, if there's a replay as well, it'll be even worse because the wedding's June the 10th. The replay is June the 8th, if it's necessary. Yeah, football has always tended to muck up my social life, actually. <laughs> it really has. I'll put it away this time. How, in fact, that leads us into the, the really the reason we're talking to you, Pat. How, how significant is football in your life? Um, well, really significant. I, it's my job. I love doing my job. Um, I would suggest I may enjoy doing my job more than most do. Um, so that is quite significant, but I mean... Uh, for many reasons, you have to keep a balance in your life and understand the importance of football. And uh, I think that's been underlined by various things in the pre a few weeks previously. Mm -hmm. In the balance that you have in your life, what are, what other interests are there? What are what is there away from football for you? I think I'm a pretty normal guy, you know. Lots of interests, you know. You, can, you read, you can you write, you sort of go and look at things, you see movies, you know, just general. There probably aren't too many first division footballers who would who would wander into the Tate and wander around there and just just become part of the crowd and admiring the pictures. Um, possibly not, but I don't know. I mean, quite a few of the Everton lads have been down to the Tate Gallery in Liverpool, and that's all more than that. So um, yeah, I mean, it's, maybe it's not that unusual. What what particular aspects of art appeal to you? What, what is it that interests you? Um, you know, I don't really get that deeply involved in talking about it. I am no expert, but I do have a kind of, do get a pleasure out of it. In fact, the picture behind is, is, is one that caught your eye, isn't it? And yeah, yeah, down in the Royal Academy a few years ago. Um, it's awfully big, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Um, um, I got, um, I seen that, just something about it. Maybe I think I liked it. And really, if you see something you like it, I mean, don't buy it for a, to make money or anything like that. Buy it because you like it. And it fits in with it. The flat that I was living in at the time. Nevin! Yes! The little Glaswegian's dazzling footwork was appreciated for five seasons at Chelsea. You played about what, 36 games, I think, this, this season for Everton and scored five goals. Mm, you're okay, no, I'm not. Um, <laughs> this, you know, um, it went really bad for a while. Um, got injured, came back, um, and had a poor time uh, just after the middle of the season. I got dropped again. But um, I wasn't really fat enough to be playing, I shouldn't have been playing. And uh, I took a bit of time off, the manager said, you've got a lot of time yourself, go and do whatever you need to do. So I had three weeks, got myself very, very fit, very strong, and uh, worked on all the skills and things like that. And uh, as soon as I come back, it's went, uh, you know, that's only eight or nine weeks ago. And from being substitute and being 14th man, I've come back and Luckily, got back into the Scotland squad, got my first team place back at Everton and scored the five goals you were talking about since then. Nevin's talents had cost Everton almost a million pounds at the start of the season, but after those three months injured, it was a fourth round FA Cup tie before he started to repay with a goal. The match winner against Norwich in the semi-final was scrambled and overshadowed by the tragedy occurring at another venue. That goal might not have happened as far as I'm concerned. You know, it was the day of Hillsborough and uh, we all came off quite elated. And uh, as soon as we walked in, 
football's importance was put into perspective again. Um, it was just the most desperately sad day of a lot of our lives, you know, anyone involved in football. Let's say especially in the North West, but really anywhere, you know. Um, it was just a desperately sad day. But I mean, there's slightly positive things we need to look at come out of it, I suppose, you know. Like uh, the Merseyside does getting together. Um, and the kind of real heart and the soul that's been shown by people from the Liverpool area and around, you know. Yeah. Um, if the country could all be a wee bit more caring and considering like that, it'd be going really well. Liverpool Everton final, I mean, where do you see the game being won and lost? What have they got that you think you can capitalise on or where might Everton slip up? What, what will, what, on what will the game hinge? Well, if it's going to, it's hard to tell, obviously, because I mean, derby games are so unpredictable anyway. Uh, I would imagine, it's an educated guess, it's going to be really close. And it's going to be a really, really tough yeah. battle in the midfield, four and four. It's a deep line, wingers, and the two men in the middle of each midfield are going to have a really tough battle. But really, in the end, it just might be one piece of like sharpness around the box by somebody. But I'm, I'm quite sure it's going to be very, very close. Um, and then we'll win it. <laughs>